The South Wales Valleys are unique and amazing places with vibrant histories, landscapes and communities. But they, like some other places, also face deep rooted economic challenges. Over decades, successive waves of economic development and investment have swept into the valleys and then swept out again. Linked to these changes and to the closure and relocation of heavy industries, which many valleys communities were built around, they are still experiencing the after effects. These effects include a lack of local jobs, less of a mix of sectors locally, workers with lower levels of qualifications and skills, and where there are jobs, there are too many that are in low wage and precarious employment. The economic profile of a place can be a key determinant of the kind of prospects, experiences and opportunities that people living there have. From how good their health is to how long they live to whether they achieve their full potential. It affects job prospects, incomes and quality of life. The Valleys is also home to over 800,000 people. That's almost a third of the Welsh population. The Bevan Foundation has been looking at practical ways to build economic resilience in the Valleys. A more resilient economy is one that's less at risk when challenges come along. And when they do come along, they're able to resist those challenges to protect local jobs and industries. It's able to recover well and it's able to recover quickly. It's also an economy where people have a say in their future and are able to participate and influence the things that affect them. It's one where there's a good level of social infrastructure to enable people to enjoy a decent standard of living and where money and wealth doesn't leak elsewhere. We've been working to understand how social business can play a greater role in economic development. We know that social businesses are in a lower proportion in Wales and the UK compared to some other countries. We also know that they tend to offer better terms of employment to people and have lower staff turnovers as a result. In the last economic downturn, social businesses also proved to be more resilient compared to conventional business. They are more likely to be rooted in particular places and because of their social purpose, are often working to make positive social, economic and environmental change. We've also been working to explore how community assets have potential to grow jobs and retain wealth. From natural resources such as land, renewable energy, to community facilities, social enterprise and heritage, they generate tangible benefits both socially and economically. We think there's potential to better harness the productive potential of these assets for public good through better sets of rights of communities themselves to bid for, control, manage and own those assets and for those benefits to be shared more widely. Public procurement in Wales is worth over £6 billion per year. Imagine if a bit more of that procurement was done locally in the valleys. Where local businesses were more involved in the supply of goods and services, it would be of real benefits to firms and employees because it would send business their way and make them part of a secure local supply chain. We've advocated the development of anchor towns in the valleys to help harness and support this kind of economic development activity. They are places with strong local transport links, growth potential, key anchor institutions, diverse consumer and business services and core public services. We're continuing to develop practical solutions to some of the challenges and opportunities in the valleys and elsewhere. If you want to find out more about what we're doing, visit our website at www.bevanfoundation.org.